Okay. One of y'all pick something. You know what? Bob, you've done your research on the on the Oracle dumb. <laughs> oh god. Oracle versus Google on Java finally went to trial. We're on day two of testimonies. <laughs> Now, for those that don't know, back in 2006, when Jonathan Schwartz became the CEO for Sun, they open sourced under the GPL Java. And now yeah. that Go now that Oracle has purchased Sun, continuing the time-honored tradition of attempting to put the open source genie back in the closed source box, they are now trying to sue Google for using Java under the GPL. In terms with the GPL, as was allowed by the GPL, and saying, no, 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 no. You have to rewrite Android. You have to give us money for something that was open sourced six years ago, five at the time of filing, and the open source is now void. We own it. Java must die. Therefore, you have to give us a bunch of money for a platform we're going to kill if we win the suit. And APIs are copyrighted. Nobody can use APIs that are released under a GPL. <laughs> Anything to add to that insanity? <laughs> this is like ridiculous, man. Well, uh, they, did, they did this with open office. Yeah, and we saw how that worked out for them. <laughs> And I will quote you right now. Larry Ellison was called to the stand as the first witness for, for uh, Google. One of the questions, was, one of his statements, I should say, was, if people are allowed to make, copy your stuff, they can make cheap knockoffs. So, what, so you make unbreakable Linux, which is based on Red Hat. Oh, wait, it's a knockoff, but it's not cheap because nothing from Oracle is cheap for licensing. My bad. <laughs> Expensive knockoffs. Rolls Royce knockoffs. You know. <laughs> well, use a cheap knockoff. Well, you know, this is a. Here's the thing. This is a lose lose for Oracle. If Oracle wins this case, they've killed the Java platform. If Oracle loses this case, they have basically just proven their petty and shunned, and the whole industry will go, oh, it's another Oracle bitchness. Because this is the second one they've done this with, and everybody's getting increasingly, you know, if they try and do this with MySQL, the U.S. government's going to come audit them. <laughs> so will the EU, so will half the governments on the planet, you know. <laughs> Well, but it's a, like you said, all of this stuff has been open source, released under GPL. Oracle can try and lock it down all they want. All they're going to do is cause forks that are completely beyond their control. And, and um, oh, 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 sorry. And Larry Ellison's argument is that the cross compatibility certification process is the thing that costs money. If that starts, if they if they try and implement that model, that's the other reason it's a lose lose. The primary reason Java is used so much today is because it's GPL, it's free, and it's cross platform. If Oracle breaks that, the industry is going to move on. You know, and the what they're ultimately trying to do here is claim that an API can be copyrighted, and therefore, even if it's released under a GPL you have to rewrite all the APIs to use the GPL. That's what Oracle's trying to claim here. If they make that case, it is going to break software development for the entire frickin' computer industry. It will set the legal precedent that basically you cannot have standards. Every frickin' developer must create their own proprietized APIs to even have APIs. What a motherfucking development nightmare. If the judge has a brain, um, he will, he will, <laughs> yes, or, or, Oh, this is the same judge. Uh, I'll give the judge credit. He's like, you guys work it out, but he said this, like, what, for the last three years since 
Oracle suit that you Google to begin with. <laughs> He's like, work it out. Work, you know, how, that was probably the longest like, pre-trial litigation I've seen for a long time. Well, you know, this is really showing how petty Oracle is and how little they understand what they bought when they bought Sun, that they're even still pursuing this. You know, they ran open office under the ground. Now they're trying to do it with Java. They do, do they really think this is going to do anything but blow up in their face? I mean, even if they win, they lose. What's the point? <laughs> Yeah, but there's, well, that's the thing. There's greed and then there's stupid. <laughs> there's stupid greedy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, greed, there's nothing inherently wrong with greed. The problem is, is when you freaking like, yes, I will cut my nose off despite my face. And then you wind up poor. <laughs> Well, you know, the, the really... More times often than, you know, than not, you know? Well, like I said, Oracle's going to lose here whether they win or not. Honestly, if Oracle keeps doing this shit and spending all their freaking money on pursuing lawsuits against open source, that basically, if they win them, they don't get anything out of them, and if they lose them, they don't get anything out of them, that means it's not going to be long before Oracle goes bankrupt and somebody's going to be buying them on the auction block. You know? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, say that again, Doc. I, I said, oh, shucks. That doesn't mean Larry Ellison won't be able to drive his boat around in the American Cup anymore. I, I guess not. You know, it's a little loud. I think, I think that sea air finally got to him after about the 15th time he fell overboard and hit his fucking head. <laughs> so what did you say, Kami? Tommy. I forgot. Um, oh, 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 yeah. What, what if I was like Google that bought him? You know, I, um, would that happen because of uh, you know the antitrust people you over Google was like, oh no, you own uh, Oracle, Oracle's assets. Oh no. <laughs> well, and what would Google? <laughs> what what would Google do with that? Would they just reopen source it, or would they uh, then try? There's no Google stuff, but I don't know. Yeah. Uh, uh, the whole thing makes me sick. It, it, you know what it honestly reminds me of? You remember when Apple and Microsoft were suing each other back in the 80s and then uh, Xerox came back in and said, we didn't mean to give away the Magic Genie. Uh, and, you know, it, uh, it, it's up there. Yeah. It, 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 this honestly reminds me of that crap where ultimately it came down to can you own a feel? <laughs> and at the time, the court decided no. Uh, and that really, it, it literally is another. It's another one of those cases. Yes, I, I, I feel that blue is is patentable. Yes, yes. there can be no blue. The sky owes me a trillion dollars because it stole blue from me. Ugh. <laughs> I tend to agree, but how to go about it's a big disagreement. Okay. But, but if, blue, if blue owes you, because you've patented blue and the sky owes you a trillion dollars, what about all the money James Cameron made from the movie Avatar, which uses blue too? Well, that's another billion, easily. You know? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, think of all the blue things. I mean, it, it, it's part of the spectrum. Okay. It, Skype. Microsoft, you owe us money. That's right. The ocean? The ocean owes you money? Your windows owe you money? What's this for? Oh, man, look at all the things that are... Oh! Zephyr Hills owes you money! All your icons you owe me money. Thank you, Microsoft. You know what? I We should try and patent blue. <laughs> I thought we could! They don't pay attention anymore these days. We just have to figure out, instead of calling it blue, we'd have to say light spectrum blah blah nanometers to blah blah nanometers produced in with light. And I bet the patent office would grant us the patent. So that means any LED, any LCD, any... <laughs> we'd be rich! 
until they found it invalid because that's what's happened to most of Oracle's uh, patents and crap they were using in here. Almost all of them have been found invalid in the pre-trial back and forth. They start with 900 and end up with 5. Oh, no, no, no. Start with 500, end up with 5. Only one left because the other four have already been invalidated and the fifth one's about to expire. Nice. So we started with 900 patents. We have one valid one left, soon to be zero. And they're using the cross compatibility as that one license. Uh huh. And like I said, when it expires, even with their victory, it's worthless. Uh, <laughs> like I said, win or lose, they lose. <laughs> Only in Oracle Land. <laughs>